up YouTube? I'm out here in sunny California, San Diego. Here for the Navy for my two weeks, but I decided to get some street photography in on my day off. So yeah, let's get to it, man. I'm about to go in the city. And I guess during this video, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, also talk about what inspired me as a photographer, uh, just doing this stuff on the side and maybe be some inspiration for, you know, those of y'all who are just thinking about doing this as a side hustle. Go ahead and roll that super butter B roll, you know what I'm saying? Go ahead and let's go ahead and hit that X right quick. All right, yeah. My other inspiration for photography is just getting out here and seeing the world, man. Uh, life is too short for you to just sit around at home and feel sorry for yourself. You need to get out and see the world. You can't do street photography by just sitting in the house or just driving by in the car. You, you have to actually go out there and get on a bike or walk the streets and see stuff that you haven't seen before. So you gotta leave your mind open and you know accept the that artist. That, that kind of flow that you get uh, as an artist. So doing that has got my inspiration up. I want to do more photography. I want to uh, do more videography. I just want to capture every day's moments because you just never know when that's going to stop. And so have something to share with other people that will come after me. So there you go. Reason number two or three or four for my inspiration in the street photography. So we were talking about earlier the uh, the reasons why I do photography and this is my final one for the day as the sun sets here in wonderful San Diego. If you come to San Diego for the weed or because California has, uh, you know, great parties and wonderful nightlife, that's all good and fine. But I'm being an older person, I am in love with the scenery. In Georgia, we don't, I don't see a lot of mountains at least. And I don't see a lot of mountains like these, like the different mountain ranges. You can't get shots like this, you know what I'm saying, on, on my YouTube content. So anytime I go somewhere, that's what I'm looking for is the scenery. So California's definitely got that. That's probably why I would move out here. But my final reason for uh, my inspiration is because it helps with my, I have, you know, depression issues. It's a known thing. I'm putting it out there, putting my heart out there like that. Um, I, have, I need help with my depression issues and that includes staying busy staying busy helps me that's the best way to do it and photography videography uh, capturing other people's happy moments helps me feel better feel, helps me feel at peace with life so um, hey that's my heart to heart moment for you youtubers you know what I'm saying all my followers all my subscribers Brandon Williams has depression issues and photography is definitely my outlet so there you go no no tears i'm in a happy place so um i have a wonderful family it surrounds me and hey that's the best thing so for today i'm gonna close it with that and hey i'm gonna enjoy this sunset without video myself <laughs> as you can see all the san diego around me so
So basically, Mount Soledad is a veterans memorial uh, for the fallen soldiers in uh, world wars. And it's sitting up here, one of the highest points in San Diego. I think it's pretty dope. Once again, you always get that scenery. So I'm always a fan of that. Like I was saying, I got to see the sunset. This place said sunset is amazing. So if you're ever in San Diego, definitely hit Mount Soledad. And I want to, while I'm up here, uh, pay special tribute to fallen soldiers and our current soldiers and sailors, airmen, uh, marines all over the nation. Uh, you know, I'm able to live free because of y'all and of course my personal service being a Navy sailor. Uh, Y'all always have a special place in my heart as my brothers in arms. And uh, yeah, so God bless America. Definitely God bless y'all, man. Keep up the good work and let's keep America free. All right, yeah. Okay, so we were talking about inspirations. Okay, so the next thing on the list of inspirations is you should try to find your inspiration. A lot of people go into photography not knowing what they want to take pictures of or what they want to take videos. That's the main thing. You have to know if you want to take videos or you want to take photography or do photography. Me, I know I'm not the best at videos. I can do, I, can, I dabble. To be honest, in B-roll, I dabble in B-roll. I don't, I don't know anything as far as like videography. I'm still learning Premiere, trying to put the the storyline together and stuff like that. I can't tell. A, I, I'm very bad at telling a story through video right now. I promise you that. Pictures though, pictures. I oh, I can kill it with pictures. Like, uh, pictures is all about self-expression. It's kind of a little bit easier. Um, for me at least. I take point of views from places that other people wouldn't be looking from. Different perspectives. My perspective. And some people are going to ride with it and some people are going to be like, eh, it's okay. But you got to be honest and you got to be ready for that type of assessment from people. Everybody's not going to like your work and everybody's not going to like what you put on online. So you just live with that. Um, and at first I was kind of like, dang, why isn't nobody liking my stuff? But some people, they see your stuff and they kind of like it, but they don't like it enough to like, let's say for instance, Instagram. Everybody wants likes, everybody wants follows. There's a lot of people that look at your stuff that like it, that just don't follow you or, you know, hit the like button. They don't double tap. So, um, you know, don't, don't be so superficial about it. And don't try to grade yourself off of your peers' work and off of what everybody else thinks. I had to get used to that. That was just a real talk to myself, so uh, definitely. Yeah, definitely inspiration is a big part of, uh, of art. Um, so there you go. Those are your likes for today. Share, comment, subscribe. If you don't already subscribe, give me some likes, give me some feedback. Uh, I really want to hear from y'all. Tell me what you don't like, what you do like. And hey, man, I love y'all. Be easy, love one another, one.